Today's soap is made with my sister-in-law, Jan, in mind. Several months ago, she requested a particular design. She sent me a picture, and I just never made it, and I should have. It took me this long to make it. Sorry about that, Jan. But it had two different shades of purple and then white. And so that's what today's soap is going to be. Except rather than white, I'm going with the natural color of the batter because I really like it. And I've never actually been a big fan of titanium dioxide. For the fragrance, we are going to use lavender chamomile or chamomile. I already did a practice soap with this, a one pound batch to decide if I like it. And I do, and it soaps beautifully, nice and slow. I can do what I want with it. Totally recommend that fragrance oil. Colors we're going to use, purple vibrance and electric violet. We're also going to be including some goat milk, colloidal oatmeal, colloidal oatmeal, sugar, kale and clay, and some Tessa silk fibers. So when I was making the soap, I actually had a cold and my voice was not pleasant and I'm still trying to get, I'm at it like 95% right now, not 100 yet. <laughs> but when I was making the soap, I there I wasn't going to talk, so I didn't talk. And so I'm going to do a voiceover. Hi, hey, Boris. There's Boris, he's telling me he's gotta go out, so I'm gonna finish this, this what we're saying here. So I'm going to do a voiceover. And instead of just saying, oh, here I am pouring in my soap, uh, we're gonna talk about different purple flowers. Okay, Boris, all right, I gotta go. Purple flowers we're gonna talk about. So there are many more purple flowers than the ones I'm about to list, but we don't have time to mention them all because I edited this video pretty short. First of all, of course, most important, lavender. It's most important because this soap is fragranced in lavender. In this little glass container, we've got our goat milk and colloidal oatmeal and sugar, kale and clay, and lavender chamomile fragrance oil. One of the most recognizable purple flowers around is lavender, and it's known for its strong, flowery scent. The other great thing about this flower, it naturally repels mosquitoes. Then we have verbena, produces small purple blooms all summer long. Then we have the clematis. This small flower grows on huge stalks up to 30 feet tall. Then we have the bellflower. It can grow in both white and purple varieties. Purple is the most common. Cat mint. This plant is perfect if you have cats. Unlike its grassy cousin, the catnip, this plant creates beautiful bunches of purple blooms. Allium. The perfect addition to your garden if you have a problem with cute critters trying to eat your plants. And here's our two purples. The one on the right is the electric violet purple mica. As usual, mica is beautiful in the oils. Hyacinth. Attract pollinating bees. Canterbury bells. No for their five pointed bell shaped blooms. And we have our purple vibrance mica mixed in with the oil here. Catalia orchid. These have been popular for over a hundred years. They're among the easiest type of orchids to grow. The calla lily is known for their single petal bloom. Cosmos, more than 20 varieties exist, both annual and perennial varieties. The common comfrey is a hardy plant that has a unique bell-shaped bloom with furry leaves. The coneflower attract both butterflies and songbirds. Candy tuft bears a resemblance to cotton candy. Cyclamen, never overwater this little houseplant. Crocus, one of the first flowers of spring loved by bees. Columbine, these flowers put on a show all all season long they attract hummingbirds. Fuchsia. This plant will attract attention like no other. Foxgloves. Avoid these flowers if you have any heart issues as they contain an oil that can be very dangerous. First I'm going to pour in all of the uncolored soap batter and I don't know what I'm doing here with the, so with the soap mold being wow look at this mess. The soap mold is barely in the frame. I did this chopstick swirl because I liked it so much for the, the apple pie soap that I made last time, the last video I made. Gladiolas have large flowers and can grow up to six feet tall. Wax flowers, one of the few flowers to grow in late winter. Geranium, my mother's favorite plant. Also the purple varieties are really hard to come by, but they do exist and they are my mom's favorites. 
Heliotrope have a very strong scent that is popular with both people and bees. Honesty smells great and have amazing color. Liatris, spiky flowers, average between one and five feet tall. The entire stalk will cover itself in tiny purple blooms. Lilac, we've seen those er in one of my earlier videos, is a favorite among many people for both its scent and lovely blooms. But Enjoy while you can, as they only last about two weeks in the year. Aster are perfect for attracting bees and butterflies. Morning glories. The large petals close up every evening and reopen in the morning. Our first cut is uh, very interesting. First cuts are always interesting. When you get into that second cut, though, ooh, that's beautiful. That electric purple looks like a uh, purpley blue and Blue is my favorite color. The soap is like a combination of Jan and me, because Jan loves purple, and I love blue. Purple pansies, they must be watered regularly. Petunias, a dainty flower that requires special care to blossom. Hydrangea, easily recognized by the look and scent. They are naturally purple, but their color can change depending on the quality of the soil they are planted in. Moonflowers. Unlike its relative, the morning glory, the moonflower closes up during the day and opens at night. And finally, the butterfly bush. You'll get a lot of butterflies. And with proper care, it can grow into a tree. And you know the exciting reveal of two bars next to each other? Uh, well, you probably shouldn't do this with the, the end piece. This just turned out lovely. I am so happy with the swirl. I hope Jan likes it. I have a feeling she will. She really likes purple. I am a big fan of the lavender chamomile mill fragrance oil. It's very nice, very soft, lovely smell. Spoiler for our next soap, it is also going to be purple themed. And it is also dedicated to Jan. So see you then. Right, Boris? See you then.